Snap-on tools, Mac tools, Maco tools, Cornwell tools, SK tools, Icon tools. These tool truck brands better start paying attention. I did a video back in April talking about the new Icon toolboxes and some of the new Icon tools that are coming out at the end of this year. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that up top. But we're here at the end of the year and they've actually rolled some of these toolboxes out to a few select stores. Now, unfortunately, I don't know if there's any around my area, but if you happen to know if there is an Icon Toolbox on display around the Cincinnati, Dayton, Columbus, Ohio area, let me know, man. I'll go check it out and I'll be able to give you a better idea about what I think about that box and any tools that may be there. So leave it in the comments if you happen to know. But there's been a few videos that's came out about the new Icon. Actually, the bear actually went to California to go look at the new box. Now he's from, I believe, Las Vegas, if I'm not mistaken. So he drove a pretty good ways to be able to give us the video to see this new Icon box. And the one he's seen actually had the side locker, had the end locker, the hutch, the top, the stainless top. And now it looked pretty nice. And I've been wanting to check it out. Obviously, you know, I've been wanting to see the quality. I want to see if these things are really as good as your Snap-on, Matco, Mac Tools, boxes, Cornwell Tools, what have you. So I've actually reached out to Harbor Freight because I had some questions that I was hoping that they would ask. So I went to Twitter and, you know, messaged them. I went to Facebook, messaged them. They did message me back on Facebook and they gave me a email address to somebody to email. So I emailed them and you know, I just asked them about a couple questions about financing and pricing and things of that nature. But unfortunately they haven't got back to me. I'm hoping that they get back to me, but you never know with these people, man. I mean, you message them and sometimes they'll get back to you. Sometimes they don't. But I also asked them as a long shot, you know, to be able to maybe have the chance to check out some of these tools, hopefully before they was released or around the time they was released because I really wanna know how good these things are. I'm really interested in this new Icon tool line because the tools that I've checked out, they have right now, They I think they have a click style torque wrench, they have this breaker bar, which I did do a review on as well. I'll put that up top. I didn't do much in that video because I have the Pittsburgh breaker bar that I've used at my job for a long time now, a couple years, and it's actually a pretty good breaker bar, but I did break it finally, but took it to Harbor Freight and they replaced it, no questions asked. That was when I did my video a month or so ago about the truth about Harbor Freight because they wouldn't warranty out my ball joint press. But, you know, they did warranty that Pittsburgh breaker bar with no questions asked. But that Pittsburgh breaker bar is a really good breaker bar. I've put some tremendous stress on that breaker bar. And if I can find the picture, I'm going to put it up here. I actually had like a eight foot pipe on this breaker bar and I was, I was torquing it and it didn't break it. So they are really tough breaker bars and you can get them on a coupon for $14. So to me, that's one of the top tools from Harbor Freight. Well, they released this Icon breaker bar and touted as being a professional breaker bar and I have no use for it. Like I said, I like the Pittsburgh breaker bar. I'm gonna choose that Pittsburgh breaker bar over Snap-on, Mac Tools, Maco, Corn. I'm gonna choose it over any other breaker bar. But I went ahead and bought this breaker bar because I wanted to see why they are charging $49 for this and they have a $14 breaker bar that's a monster. So I did check it out. Now, there are some differences. This is a better finish. I'm going to guess that the metal's probably better on this. I can't prove it just by talking about it, obviously. But the differences in these bars are not, there's not very much difference. This does have a one inch length advantage over the Pittsburgh and the anvil on the top of these are 
a lot longer than the one on the Pittsburgh. And you can tell that this probably is a better made tool and probably would be able to be used longer than the Pittsburgh. But man, with a lifetime warranty for $14, I, I'm going to tell you to go with the Pittsburgh all day, all night over any breaker bar there is on the market because it's actually really good. But I got a comment the other day on my first Icon video and I planned on doing another Icon video anyway. I'll probably have quite a few Icon videos coming out because I'm going to get these tools when they come out. I'm going to check these boxes out when they come out. Can I afford to go buy a box of Hutch and all that? Probably not, but I will be able to look at them and I'll be able to at least talk about them with you. But I will be able to go buy some of the tools and we're going to check as much out as possible because I want to know how good they are. But the comment I got, man, I don't usually do this. I don't usually put comments on any videos, but I thought this was a pretty, pretty interesting comment. So let me go ahead and put it up real quick. Let's read it together. This guy, I'm going to block his name out just because I'm not trying to put anybody on blast like that. And I'm not type, I'm not a bully, man. I don't like bullies, you know, in any way, shape or form, you know. I'm going to stand up for people. So I'm not a bully in any way. So I'm going to block this guy's name out. But we'll just call him Joe, all right? So Joe says, Harbor Freight is coming out very soon, in quotations, with their own credit card. Paying over time issue solved, all in caps. They also offer lifetime warranty and free delivery, all in caps, of all icon, all in caps, branded items. Ellipsis, ellipsis. So the icon truck, in quotation, does, in capital letters, come to your shop. Ellipsis, ellipsis. Any other BS complaints? So I read this and I, I had to ask myself, I said, self, was you complaining? Because it's been a long time since I shot that video. So I went back and watched the video. And no, <laughs> I didn't complain not once, man. I had some questions, some serious questions I want answered. And you know, this is the thing I talk about. And this is why I'm putting this up here. Because there's different ways to talk to, to men. You know, to me, I'm going to treat you with respect, man. You treat me with respect back. And I, you know, it, it's just... That's what we should do as men. Now, if this guy wanted to get on here, to me, this is how I would have did it. I would never get on somebody's anything and try to, you know, say things like that. I would have said, hey, I heard they're coming out with a new credit card soon. Hey, you, did you know they offer free delivery and a lifetime warranty on it? So those answer some of your questions. That's what a man does. <laughs> you know, a man doesn't get on there and just try to, I, I don't know if he was just sitting back waiting and trying to throw his cape on to come try to take up for Harbor Freight and save Harbor Freight, save Icon. I don't know what this guy was doing, but, you know, I was not even complaining, man. I was just asking some serious questions. So that's what I want to do today. I'm just going to talk about some of those questions that I have and some of the concerns that I have. Because in the first video, my main thing was, who are they trying to target with these toolboxes and these tools? Are they trying to target professionals? Because as I said in that video, professionals already have an established tool brand which they go to, which they prefer. So to try to sway them from their tool brand is going to be pretty impossible. They may be able to get a piece of it, but nobody that is already established in Snap-on, Matco Tools, Mac Tools, Cornwell Tools, SK Tools, nobody that has a bunch of those tools are going to get rid of those tools and switch to Icon. So that leaves the beginner. Are they trying to get the young guys coming in saying, hey, man, don't spend $7,000 on a Snap-on box. You can buy this Icon box for $2,600, which is just as good. Are they trying to get the person who has begun with, say, a U.S. General 56-inch box, and now they're ready to upgrade. They're ready to step their game up. So they're looking at the Snap-on, the Mac Go, the Mac Tools boxes. Are they trying to get those people to say, you know what, I'm going to consider this Icon box. Maybe this Icon box is the way to go. And, you know, that is feasible. They, they could target those people. Those are the people they probably should target. Or are they trying to target their already existing customer base 
who has already purchased a 72 inch US General box, a 56 inch US General box, a US General tech cart, a US General five drawer cart. Are, is that who they're targeting? Are they trying to target me? Are they trying to get me to get rid of this 72 inch box and buy one of those 73 inch Icon box? That's a big jump, man. Cause I'm gonna tell you what, I use my 56 inch box at work every day. I've used it every day for years now. And it's a good box. It's going that box is going to be a good box for majority of people, for anybody, to be honest with you. You do not have to go purchase an Icon box. You do not have to go purchase a Snap-on box. You do not have to go purchase a Mac Tools box to be able to put your tools in and that box is going to either make you better or last longer than these boxes. It may last a little longer, yeah, but at a price tag of 20 times more, man, it's a big commitment to make. But it is a status thing, man. You want that big box. As I've said in many videos, man, you come into a shop, you're a young guy, you come into a shop, you see all the older techs, man, they've got the big snap-on epic boxes lined up with the side cabinets, the hutch across, and here you come wheeling in your US General five drawer cart if you're lucky starting out. You know, that's a good starter cart for anybody, but if you're lucky enough to get that, then that's the one I'd tell you to get right off the bat because it's cheap and it's gonna last you a long time. Those are good boxes. But you look at these guys and you're like, man, one day I wanna get there. One day I wanna be as good as these guys. One day I wanna be able to walk into the shop and look at my box and just think, man, I made it. You know, that's what, that's what it is to me. You know, whether it is that way to all everybody, I don't know, but that's how it is to me and a lot of people I know and majority of people I know to say that. So those boxes mean something. Those boxes stand for something. And now Harbor Freight is coming out with an icon box, as I said. So are, are they going to be able to sway those guys that look up to these techs that have been in the business for a long time that have the 72-inch Epic box with the hutch? Are they going to be able to roll in with their 73-inch icon box and be able to feel the same type of accomplishment, the same type of pride as they do with the Snap-on box. You know, I can't answer that because everybody's gonna be different, but in my case, I, I honestly wouldn't feel any different whether I was wheeling in a 72-inch Harbor Freight US General box, a 73-inch Harbor Freight Icon box, a 72-inch Snap-on Epic box. I wouldn't feel any different about my abilities, but on the same hand, I would feel better and feel more pride rolling in with that Epic box versus all the other box, including the Icon box. Does that mean that the Icon box isn't any good? I, I can't tell you that. I don't know because I haven't seen it yet, but I'm talking about name recognition and brand recognition right now because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to push their way in to compete with the Snap-on and Mac Tools, Mac O Tools, Cornwell Tools, SK Tools. They're trying to actually compete with these. And I'll tell you what, man, these tool truck brands, as I said in the intro, better start paying attention. 